What is up guys? My name is Creature Play. Welcome to my newest player review video. I'd like to give a shout out to Boone as always for helping me grab some of this footage today. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Golden Ticket 99 overall Dion Sanders. He offers 100 speed, 100 acceleration, 103 man, 101 zone, 101 press, and 100 play rec. 10 to man defense, 10 to pass rush, some of his other stats in here. He's got 80 tackling, which got bumped up a lot, which is really good. Uh, 98 kick return if you want to use him as that. Uh, his block shedding is still pretty crap at 41. And his hit power got bumped up pretty substantially also to 90. Today is Saturday, April 9th. As always, prices will change. Going for about 2.4 on Xbox One and 2.7 average on PS4. So with that, we're going to get right into it. As always, I like to start off with verts and streaks. Those are the things I test out first. Um, Dion, as always, same with his elite badge card, is complete shut down when it comes to anything related to man. Uh, route running, uh, posts, outs, uh, anything you can think of, except for one thing which you'll see in a sec. Um, but streaks, verts, etc. He is shut down, especially this new card. He is ridiculous at it. He is the first card that consistently is two yards ahead of somebody on a streak and is always there to be able to, you know, punch the ball out. He's not a, as aggressive as somebody like, say, Cromarty or the Pat Pete that I've done reviews on. Um, he doesn't, you know, just act like he's doing everything he can to make that interception or, you know, rip the ball out of your hands. Um, but for the most part, he's just good at, you know, being able to be there and swat the ball out. Um, he didn't really get beat for the most part. I got two clips of it, but uh, I'm passing both of them up to, you know, the aggressive cheese. I'm really not going to hold it against him. But aside from the two cheese verts, he did not miss one streak or vertical play. In addition to how crazy his vertical shutdown coverage is, I really want to talk about how insane his route man coverage is. He is the first cornerback I have seen or used ever that is so good at man and play rec and is so fast that when he's covering a route or a slant, he is ahead of the receiver. It is insane. I have never seen that until I started playing with him today. It's like he knows the route better than the receiver is going. And it's just, it's it's ridiculous to see in game. Like I, I, I thought it was just, you know, a crazy fluke, but it's not. It's this weird thing that he does specifically on press slants, which you'll see in a sec. But I want to talk about this weird thing. The only thing that he got beat on man was this C route. And I have no idea why. This is the only thing that he was kind of bad at, to be honest. This didn't happen with Pat P or Cromartie, but for some reason with him, the only man coverage that he actually was blowing was this C route. So I don't know what that's all about, but that was the only flaw that I had with him on man. So I mean, it's kind of a big deal, but it's not. I mean, it just depends how often people will run that C route. Um, anyway, here is his press, uh, kind of getting into it a little late. Um, his press was shut down as well, so it's not like I'm missing anything. Um, he had absolutely no issues with press. He didn't get beat one single time uh, that I pressed. In addition to that, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen that this test that I uh, do when I test press, I do slants and I test how well a corner can hang with the receiver um, once they get off to that really quick route from being pressed right at the line of scrimmage. And so far, I have not found one cornerback that is actually able to either hold them there long enough or catch up enough speed to get to the point where they are able to actually keep up with that slant runner. Dion is the first, finally the first, uh, cornerback that I have used all year that is finally able to shut the press slant down. Nobody else has been able to do it. And as I mentioned earlier, this is where he's got the best demonstration of how good his coverage is. You see he's ahead of the receiver as he's going on his route. Um, here we're going to test out his zone coverage. Um, just yet again, another area that he had almost zero issues. Um, uh, I only had one clip, I think, of him actually getting beat in zone, and it was because um, it was a weird throw, and I think the receiver, you know, like undercut it or jumped somehow to get the completion, but it was definitely not a normal thing. And other than that, he was 100% coverage in zone as well. And right here, you'll see that uh, one pass I was talking about where he technically got beat. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, but now we're going to get into his interceptions. Um, this is weird. He had the most interceptions out of any cornerback that I have tested in the shortest amount of time also. 
Um, but his interceptions are a little different. His interceptions are different than Cromartie or Pat P or Night Train. Um, whereas I've said already, they are just extremely aggressive when they make their interceptions. Where it just it feels like you know they're they're doing everything in their power to get that ball into their hands. Um, Dion's interceptions, uh, they obviously happened a lot because he had the most out of everybody, but they weren't aggressive, so to speak. They were just, um, you know, like he, he put himself in the right place at the right time, as opposed to making, you know, something out of not being there already and forcing the interception, if that makes any sense. I mentioned earlier in the video that this uh, new Dion got his tackling upgraded by a lot and it definitely shows. I had the old Dion and seeing this new one do these things like tackling somebody so hard in midair that they would drop a ball. It was so weird but it was so awesome and it was definitely noticeable and it made a huge difference in his coverage. Um, I'm not even going to you know, go into his horrible block shedding. Everybody knows Dion is not a great tackler or support in the run game. He got pancaked pretty much every single time uh, I tried to run. So keep him on the outside if you are going to use him. Um, his kick return, everybody knows he's one of the best kick returners. I didn't go crazy into it. Um, here's just one clip. But, I mean, overall... Um, I, ha I I know I say this you know every time I get a new corner, but I have no problem saying that this is by far the best coverage cornerback in the entire game. There is not one cornerback that is even remotely close to how good he is in man. Um, surprisingly, that Josh Norman that I just did a review on was actually not too far off zone-wise, but Dion definitely was noticeably better at zone. Um, if you've got the staff and the support to be able to help with the run game, you know, on your nickel or your linebackers, um, I say absolutely get him, save up for him, and get him right away. He is so good, it is ridiculous. He is worth a lot, I know, um, but I had a lot of people ask me to do this review. That's the only reason I'm putting it out, but he is worth every single coin. As always, I really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Until next time, take care.